Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Fight fans from all over the world, what's going on? It's your boy Chris, the host of Boxing with Chris. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you make hit, sure that, you hit subscribe that subscribe button, button and tune into, into the work. So as this fight was announced, all I did was make the video of the fight announcement. I didn't watch the fight live. I didn't record a tail end of the tape. I didn't react to anything going on to this fight i actually didn't watch the fight till sunday afternoon after the football games because that was just something i was not into i feel like everybody tries to beat floyd since they saw floyd do the record-breaking numbers with conor mcgregor but this eventually i had to tune into because i saw the controversy on social media i saw the knockdown on social media and i saw you know how everybody felt so after watching this fight i still feel tyson fury won but it was a horrible performance on Tyson Fury. And we're going to make a video on that also. But as in recapping the fight, man, um, one of the things that stood out to me was Ngannou's chin and Ngannou's stamina. For one, the guy took a couple of good punches straight on the jaw from Tyson Fury. And the stamina, we know these guys in the UFC compete, if I'm not mistaken, what is it, three, five-minute rounds. So to still be pressing the pace... In the sixth, seventh round of a 10th round boxing match against the lineal world heavyweight champion was very impressive. And before people jump on me on saying why I think Tyson Fury won, you know, it was a 10 round fight. He won six of those rounds. Were they pretty? No. Did he have a bad performance? Yes. Was this fight was supposed to be as close? No. I thought this fight, I thought this, I thought Ngannou should have been out of there in four to five rounds because I figured Tyson Fury's strategy was okay. Let me play with his stamina a bit, wear him down, throw my body weight on him, and maybe I could do it. But one thing Ngannou also was prepared for was not prepared for just him also being a big man himself and having that natural actual strength. Fury's tactics of throwing his weight on him did not work. And even when Fury threw in a blatant elbow at him, he walked right through it. I just thought it was more of what Ngannou did and less than what Tyson Fury did. You know, a first timer stepping into boxing against a, you know, pound for pound heavyweight champion. He had a great performance in Ghana. Do I still think he lost? Yes. At worst, this fight was a draw. I did feel like he let his foot off the gas a little bit, but that's just something that you have to deal with when it comes with experience. An experienced boxer in that situation would have done more and applied more pressure. He obviously had the knockdown in the third round with the looping left shot right over the top of Tyson Fury. And I can't take nothing away from him. He was impressive, but experience, you know, he's just gonna get better with experience. As of Tyson Fury, once again, horrible performance, horrible, horrible, horrible. This fight should have never been close to begin with. Do I feel like he underestimated him? Maybe, but still, it wasn't supposed to go the way it did. It wasn't supposed to play out the way it did. Not at all, not at all, not at all. Very disappointed. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section below. Was it gonna robbed? How would you rate Tyson Fury's performance? Look out for some more videos and details of this event that I'm actually going to make now. It's your boy Chris from Boxing with Chris. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. You know what to do. Keep it A more than 92. And I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.